The Royal Navy is currently undergoing its most profound strategic transformation since the height of the Cold War. This period is defined by a massive multi-billion pound recapitalization effort centered around the core doctrine of achieving mass through technology. This requires a fundamental strategic shift towards integrated operating and multi-domain integration. This philosophy mandates that every asset, from a Type 26 frigate to a future uncrewed underwater vehicle, must operate as a single fully networked force, sharing data seamlessly across surface, subsurface, air, and cyber domains. The immediate operational focus is driven by the necessity of replacing critical legacy assets. This includes the phasing out of the long-serving Type 23 frigates and preparing for the eventual withdrawal of the Vanguard-class submarines, which directly fuels the urgency of the current decade of shipbuilding. This modernization is underpinned by the commitment to the national shipbuilding strategy. This initiative is designed not only to deliver advanced naval platforms, but also to revitalize UK shipyards and industrial capacity, ensuring the long-term sovereign ability to design, build, and maintain the complex fleet of tomorrow. The most visible aspect of this modernization is the dual-class approach to surface warfare frigates. This fleet is structured around two distinct types to maximize global presence and combat lethality. Firstly, the eight Type 26 Global Combat Ships are the Royal Navy's premier high-end warfighting assets. These vessels are purpose-built for the challenging environment of anti-submarine warfare and are designed to act as command nodes in high-threat areas, featuring a flexible mission bay and the ability to integrate advanced weapon systems like the Mark 41 Vertical Launch System for future offensive missiles. In contrast, the five Type 31 Inspiration-class frigates serve as the cost-effective, adaptable solution for maritime security and global deployment. They are intended for lower-intensity environments, supporting tasks such as presence, deterrence, and international engagement. Their modular design ensures they can be easily upgraded throughout their lifespan to meet evolving threats. Below the waves, the replacement of the Vanguard-class is underway with the Dreadnought-class SSBN program. These four submarines, built to maintain continuous at sea deterrence into the 2060s, will be the largest and most complex ever built in the UK. Key innovations include the Rolls Royce PWR 3 nuclear reactor and the introduction of the highly maneuverable X form rudders. Looking further ahead, the eventual replacement of the Astute class attack submarines is being driven by the SSNR program which is tightly linked to the collaborative, long-term AUK-US Security Pact, securing the UK's ability to maintain a potent, stealth attack capability. While new ships form the bedrock of the future fleet, the Royal Navy's strategy for achieving operational mass is centered on uncrewed systems. These assets are essential for persistent presence and reducing the risks faced by sailors. This revolution is already visible in the elimination of legacy mine countermeasures vessels. They are being replaced by fleets of uncrewed surface vessels, such as the RNMB Ariadne, which can be deployed from a harbor or a mothership. These USVs use sophisticated offboard payloads and sonar systems to autonomously or remotely clear minefields, greatly increasing operational tempo while removing personnel from danger. Below the surface, the capabilities are equally transformational. The UK is investing heavily in extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles, notably the x Excalibur, developed under Project Cetus. These 12-meter autonomous submarines are designed for long-range covert intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, capable of months-long operations without human intervention. The successful remote control of Excalibur from thousands of miles away demonstrates a new reality in undersea warfare. This integration necessitates a shift in platform roles. Future ships like the Type 26 and the planned multi-role support ships are designed to function as command nodes. They will be capable of launching, recovering, and controlling diverse fleets of UXS assets, from surface drones to autonomous air systems, multiplying the operational effect of the manned platform and giving the Royal Navy asymmetric advantage in the maritime domain. The transformation currently underway defines the core philosophy of the future Royal Navy. The goal is clear. The fleet will not necessarily be larger in overall manned hull numbers, but it will be vastly more lethal and effective through high-tech integration, superior networking, and asymmetric capability 
provided by autonomous systems. This high-tech commitment ensures the Navy can protect global interests. The new frigates and the continuous at-sea deterrent capability will secure the protection of global trade routes and maintain the UK's commitment to NATO collective security, anchoring the security of the North Atlantic and beyond. Ultimately, the modernization requires a transformation not just of hardware but of human capital. The modern sailor is now defined by digital mastery, data processing skills, and the ability to maintain and operate complex, integrated, and autonomous systems. The future of UK naval warfare is one of multi-domain mastery, where technology and highly trained personnel converge to dominate the maritime battle space for decades to come. To stay informed on the UK's ongoing defense operations, strategic developments, and the crucial assets that underpin our security, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Defense Debrief.